Okay, are we here? Am I clear? I hope we are. Hi guys! Welcome to my video. How is your day been? I hope it's beautiful. My name is Kayla. Uh, my channel is also known as Vida Chapina. What Vida Chapina means is life of a Guatemalan woman. So, you're Guatemalan. She's a woman. So, boom, here's my channel. Welcome. So the last two videos I filmed and posted, I have been loving because I'm at a growing stage in my life right now and I don't wanna like be fake or be folk, fake energy and um, post content that I just don't like and this is stuff that I like. It's basically talking about motivational stuff and self-care and being true to yourself and that's all I wanna post. I'll always tell you guys up front, I'm gonna tell you right now, whoever you are, whatever you've been through in your life, whether you think it's big or small, you have a story, you are meant to do big things in this life, whether it is through school, whether it's not through school, whether it's through work, whether it's through being a mentor, a coach, whatever it is, an artist, you have a story and you need to live your life for you and be authentic to yourself. You need to stay true to yourself. And this video, I told you about this book already. I've been reading, love her. It's called Believe It. And literally Jamie Kern Lima, the founder of It Cosmetics. I love I've been loving this book. My cousin gave it to me. And so she I was really resonating with one of the chapters that she was that she wrote. And I'm just gonna read some of the lines. Seriously, go check this book out. I'm not done yet, but I can't wait to be because it's so good. But one of the chapters, um, she basically is telling the stories from her best friends, her mentor group, her circle. And in the circle, it's a bunch of women that have been through a lot, because like I said, we've all been through stuff, but their stories are so amazing. And because of what they've all been through, they basically started from the bottom, made their way up here, and they're always still working their way up. And they're just there for each other. And that's really been my goal, and something that I truly just want to bring into my life, and you guys should too. If you have toxic people in your life, toxic jobs, toxic relationship, toxic friends, toxic family, toxic inner thoughts, whatever, you need to remove it because that is what's holding you back from a lot, from finding your truest potential and just from your inner health too. And so I feel like I'm kind of going through that right now, not fully like toxic, toxic, but there's just been some, a lot of changes right now in my life when it comes to work and I love my job and I'm so grateful for it but there's just a bunch of fluctuation right now and so I'm really just praying and putting my heart um, semi good energy on what this next couple months has in store for me and my work I love it I love my work I love my job I love the people there but I know if God has better plans for me let it be known let it be known and same for you guys same thing if you guys are struggling in your job right now or anything i'm sending you good energy i'm praying for you that god will open up his doors that this universe will open up abundance and opportunities and blessings to you guys so let's continue this one of the stories she read or one of the stories she wrote from her friends i don't want to talk a lot about it because it gives it away ba -ba 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 -ba. okay i'm just gonna read this and hear her out for real. This is quoting, this is quoting Jamie. Think about how good it feels when you're being your true self. You don't have to try, it just happens. And it feels effortless. If you work in a creative field or have a creative hobby, you know that when you're in that state called flow, when you're engaged and energized about what you're doing, creativity and your best work just emerge. The same thing that happens when you're in a state of flow in everyday life. And the only way to experience that is to be your authentic self fully. And the only, oh, <laughs> the good parts, the quirky parts, the awkward parts, the kind parts, the scared parts, the true parts. When you hide parts of yourself, dim your own light, or change to try to meet someone else's expectations, you risk missing out on becoming the person you were born to be and developing the types of relationships that will fill your soul. So many of us waste so much of our lives shrinking who we are and how we show up because we're worried what other people think. Pause right there. Can I get an amen? I 
I'm still getting to know who I am and I've come to realize, like, I'm weird. I'm weird, I say weird things, I do weird things, I'm social, I'm positive, I'm bubbly, but also when I'm around those people that bring it out in me. Like, I'm not gonna lie, there's times and I'm not, definitely quarantine, Loki made me kind of shy and intimidated, but there's just, I feel like I've been exposing myself out in, to like the real real world and all of it's not butterflies and rainbows like I want the life to be. You know, not everyone is super positive and bubbly and happy and you know, everyone's going through things. Doesn't mean that they're a bad person, no one is bad. We are all, you're definitely not perfect. But I'll just say for my job, I work in retail sales and majority of the time, like 80%, I'm able to like be myself. Like being positive, um, like just smiling and just being positive, good energy and like, how can I help you? And there are some people that I just, their energy is so intense and so strong and because of that, I feel myself close up and I become more of like my serious tone. I kind of just shrink and why? Why should I let one's energy shrink me down and not let myself be who I really am, which is just positive and nice. I'm not even joking, can I just say one time there was a customer that was kind of talking to my boss about me and there were, I was, apparently I tried helping her one time for something and I guess it didn't work out, which I don't really wanna tell you guys much because I don't wanna like really tell you my job. But anyways, life happens, something didn't work out and she was like, oh yeah, that girl, she tried to help me. She was just way too bubbly, way too nice and my boss immediately like shut her off. Like, is there something wrong with being positive and nice? <laughs> and honestly, I'm like, okay, like I'm getting complaints for being too positive. I'll take that as a compliment, you know? Because not everyone is gonna like that. People are gonna be annoyed and that's the thing, you guys, no matter who you are, if you wanna be positive or happy or you have a good day, don't, you cannot let others tear down your day. There was someone that came in and I said, hey, like, how are you doing? How can I help you today? And he looked at me and he said, I'm about to ruin your day with a bunch of stuff that I have going on. And I, you know, put like, check that person in and put them on the list. And I remember I looked at him and I said, we must not let, we must never let one person ruin our day. That was me standing up for myself because if someone says they're gonna ruin your day, you guys, you cannot let that happen. You cannot let one person's word affect you. Other people's words hurt you and literally allow it to ruin your day. You are in control of your own feelings, your thoughts, your energy. So, just love yourself, take confidence in yourself. It's not easy, it takes time, trust me. I go through days where I'm struggling, I'm struggling. But in all reality, just this life is so much better just being positive and just at peace, at zen, chill, happy, and understanding you guys, understanding that not everything is gonna always go the way you want it or the way you think, like life happens, but and if your feelings are valid, you're okay. If you're frustrated, if you're angry, if you're sad, feel that for sure. But don't drown yourself in it and allow yourself to stay in, the, in those emotions because those are heavy emotions. And when you're staying in that state, it could cause you to not want to get out of bed. It could cause you to not want to eat or go work out or get some sunshine, get some fresh air in you. And you can go through some dark times. Trust me, I've been through that a lot. And it's always not fun. I feel helpless, I feel hopeless, and what a way to spend your life like that. No one should spend their life like that. Like, this life is a beautiful world. This life is a beautiful life, and you are a beautiful human being. So, there's that, I had a little rant. Okay, so she goes on saying, <laughs> one of the biggest fears that holds us back from showing up as our true self is the fear that people won't like us. Here's the thing, we're going to encounter mean girls, underminers, gossips, ruthless, competitors, and even misguided supporters. Not everyone is going to like each of us all the time, no matter what. So why not accept it and show up as yourself? Otherwise, you're going to have haters and critics judging someone you're actually not. Um, and there's just, there's so much more, there's so much more, but I, is there, 
Is there like a limit of how much I can share or not share in a book? Like copyright when it comes to like music? Because I also don't want to like overshare. Like really, you guys should check out this book. But this, ah, uh, everything she's saying is so good. Um, I'll go down a little bit. A key to believing in ourselves is surrounding ourselves with people who not only believe in us and love us for who we are, but also sharpen us. It's been said many times that you are the culmination of the five or so people you spend the most time with. And I really try to think about that because I'm like, who am I around? Like, who is my special group, my close group that I'm around and are they all benefiting me in my life and as well am I benefiting them in their lives? Like am I uplifting them? Are they uplifting me, bringing good energy, not draining me? And I feel like I can confidently say at this point right now, I'm so blessed and yeah, everyone in my life right now are benefiting me, are there for me, are amazing, are love me. Or, support me 100% and me to them as well. Like no one's draining me down, no one's jealous or envy or rude or passive or toxic, any of that stuff. It really does make a difference you guys when you have toxic people in your life versus not. So toxic people are very draining you guys, very draining and it causes you to do things that you just don't wanna do or causes you to release emotions or be someone that you're not or you don't want to be it's a lot you guys so get yourself out of that for real if the five people you spend the most time with aren't sharpening you and inspiring you to be the best version of yourself it might be worth spending some time taking inventory of who you surround yourself with for real because people around you what are they they are energy and you want good energy in your life you guys it's really good, really good information, and I just want to remind you guys that love yourself, pick, find those people in your life that bring good energy, that that makes you want to work and thrive and succeed in life, and just be happy, okay? Like, be happy and that don't drain you. You know, find a good group of people, and also as well, you guys, don't forget no matter all the hard days, don't let one person ruin your day. Do not let one person, one situation ruin your day. You can have a moment, if you need a moment to cry, be frustrated, be sad, have it for sure. Um, write it out in a journal, cry, tell a friend, pray, whatever it is you need to do, but do not let it control your whole day. And like I always say, for one bad day is double the amount of good days. So I love you guys so much and for real check out this book. I'm probably going to review more of it and eventually I want to keep reviewing Michelle's book. I have a bunch of books that I want to review. So I think I might make this some of my YouTube videos is bringing out books that I've read and just talking about what I've learned and shared with you guys because it's all good stuff. It's all good positive energy. Sending you guys good energy. I love you so much and I hope you have a beautiful day.